Hey. hey, welcome out to Third World Linux episode 40. 40. Big 40. 40. We're now middle aged. Yeah. Life begins at 40. Golf begins at 50. <laughs> I'm Jao. <laughs> My name is AJ. And I am Norm. Our very special guest. Um, For no other reason than he's a guest. <laughs> or that he's special, <laughs> and he's special, here, and special so guest. Well pull him in, <laughs> because that's how we roll in Channel Fourteen. Um, yeah, so we're going to be talking about security, uh, because like hot off the presses, mm-hmm. uh, what's it? Five million Gmail passwords have been compromised in a Russian Bitcoin website. Russian yeah. Bitcoin, yeah, something like that. And two weeks ago, we had the happening. I dun, wanna, dun, dun. I'm gonna put an echo there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, behind the scenes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so um, 5 million with an M. Well, 4.9 million. <laughs> Ish. Rounded off the nearest million. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big yeah. enough number to be worried. Right, so uh, what was it? It was on a Russian Bitcoin forum that they, uh, that, that a user like disclosed it. Um, what was the name of the user, 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 user? User, user, user. It was it was first reported on Russian webs uh, on on a Russian um, news site, CNews, where uh, apparently it wasn't only Gmail, but also. Um, oh, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't only Gmail, but uh, what's it? Uh, Yandex, which is Russia's um, email, yeah, email thing. Okay, and uh, Mail dot or something. Which, Which is, is again again Russia's Russia. email yeah. thing yeah um, Russia's email thing we're calling it <laughs> I assume it was, it was, it was an ISP oh mail mail.ru okay. it is uh, it is an ISP in Ooh. Russia so um, it was first reported and this is according to the daily dot dot com what I thought I had the IB Times open but whatever mm. um, uh, first reported by C News was posted on uh, BT Sec which is a Russian language Bitcoin security forum. Um, the person that published it, uh, TV Skit, TV SKIT, um, posted a screenshot of the file. So he has it. Yeah, he has the file. So a file of about 5 million um, mm. username and emails. password combinations. Yeah. Can I just say, before we begin the actual discussion, that this is a milestone for us. Because for the first time, Channel 14... Is first in news, <laughs> second in opinion. Hey man, we have the Sunstar Weekly podcast, yeah. Yeah. It, which is an exception to that rule. Yeah. Technically, it's a weekly year and uh, week and recap. So <laughs> well, yeah, fine. What it is last. Year. <laughs> um, so we are, yeah, yeah. So there, a bunch of passwords leaked, and uh, apparently, it was um, not like. It wasn't a big, we get a bunch of passwords now, but the database was being built over time through like phishing emails, through oh. um, just general malware that's on computers. Uh, this is a 5 million account. Think about it, dude. That's like half of, um, that's half of everybody on Facebook. And if exactly. everybody on the internet is on Facebook, that's half of the users on Facebook. Um, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of passwords. <laughs> um, and according to the guy, uh, about 60% of the uh, username and password combinations are uh, valid and working. Because, again... Most of them are active is, emails. Yeah. And, you know, you, you, um, so I, I guess um, 60% of people have changed their password. Hopefully by this time it's I mean like This is after Heartbleed So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah it, it, Yeah I, I'm imagining Before Heartbleed That, that number might have been higher Yeah, yeah. Because it's actually after Heartbleed I changed my email password Yeah Because um, What's it Because when you say that 60% of the passwords Are still working um, uh, Because this was A database that was built up Over time Like Some of the earlier ones That they got The people might have Changed their password mm-hmm. Like if my if my email was taken a couple of years ago, uh, my password has definitely changed since then. Yeah. So, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, so that, that 60% number is kind of interesting. Um, that's a lot higher than I thought. I mean, a lot mm. lower than I thought, that's rather. That's a lot lower than me. That's a lot, yeah. Like, I, I, I was under the impression that about, like, 90% of those passwords would still be, uh, would still be good. 
because of how people don't change their passwords generally. Mm-hmm. But so, then, as Norm pointed out, it's post Heartbleed, so like everybody changed the password then, or at least assuming <laughs> assuming you did, it's. We still have about 3.5 million emails <laughs> compromised. Me, what's interesting is, what is the intent? Of what? Of this guy. Is it a security leak? Or he's he showing, like, is you guys are vulnerable? Or uh, like, for giggles? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea, but it's, it's, it's... Bottom line, a bunch of passwords are compromised. Yeah. Yes. Many passwords have been compromised. Hmm. So, what do you do? Change this? your password. <laughs> yeah. Simple as that. Change don't use password. the same password for everything. I have to change like 500 emails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're gonna talk about like what we do and what and um, what can what can you do? <laughs> yeah, and 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 how uh, how deficient we are <laughs> in <laughs> in protecting our own online security. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, ideally, you're supposed to have a different email. Are you supposed to have a different password, password. for every uh, account, account mm-hmm. that you have? But then we have like 50 million accounts everywhere. I'm sure because that. So yeah, an effect of Web 2.0. <laughs> yeah. Different sites require different passwords, and even like signing up for a pizza program of a company requires a different password, and even your phone requires a different password. And certain apps. So like. Where do you the, get around this password thing? Yeah, the, um, like like security experts uh, talk about how like the password is this terrible, outdated system, but there is nothing better that we have. That is as fast as and as efficient because I'd say there was a time when uh, laptops had fingerprint scanning. Yeah, but then that isn't going to help you get into Gmail. Exactly. Yeah, because it's, it's inefficient. Right. At the core of it, it's still identity confirmation. So no matter what you use to identify yourself as the actual user, right now, if, uh, I'm guessing it correctly, it still goes through the same process of cross-checking whatever they have in the, da- in the database. No, but then mm. again, at least no one could have the same fingerprint as yours. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, until, you know, there's still going to be a compromise. <laughs> yeah. They have to source your finger. <laughs> If they want to get in, but watch out for coffee houses. Yeah, but that's for the, <laughs> but that's for hardware, not so much getting into your Gmail or Twitter. Yeah, yeah. So like biometric, what's it? Um, biometric identification is like a, a possible thing, but yeah. So like right now, we have the terrible password system. What is a strong password? Um, was it like the recommended was a combination of capital letters, alphanumeric, and actual. Uh, small, small cap letters, right? Yeah, like no, it's you have to mix it up. Yeah, but um, how? <laughs> how the hell are you gonna? Remember yeah, how are we gonna remember that? That's the. That is um, one of the challenges. That's one of the challenges, right? Um, apparently, like a good way to make a password. Oh, uh, uh, you know, you know how people have like these long sentences mm-hmm. as their password. Uh, there was this password cracker. That used um, grammatically that, that that used the rules of grammar <laughs> when it was brute forcing stuff. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you have like this word or yeah, whatever, say the it, quick brown fox, jumps yeah, over it should right, like grammatically correct. So, like, apparently, a really good password is like if you have um, if you have like a string of say four words. That don't make sense. Yeah, that don't make sense. Capitalized and add like a number at the end. Mm. So, pretty much a YouTube (laughs) username. Yeah, a YouTube YouTube username username. would make a great password. (laughs) Catbooger77. (laughs) That's still grammatically correct. Mm -hmm. Catbooger. Catboogers. Yeah, well, the... Like, like... With um, variations. I would assume they would include variations to the... (laughs) Let me say like, um... Say like uh, book flower, potato. Yeah, potato pavement. Thirty nine. <laughs> Z. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, that, that's a, that, that's that's good. It, it's it's a good password. Strong, easy to remember, and password crackers will have a uh, will have a hard time, um, brute forcing its way to that. There was an uh, there was an XKCD 
like comic that talked about that. Yeah. So that's how you address a password at least. So mm. pick your favorite YouTube comment. <laughs> look at this username and turn his username into a password. Your most hated YouTube commenter. <laughs> But the difficulty is that that's also on a database somewhere. Exactly. So it's going to be used somewhere if they have that database. Yeah. Like dictionary attacks, it, you know. Or or worst yeah. comes to worst. That person, that commenter's username is also his password. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's um, that is still a thing that happens. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a really bad practice, though. Like um, for the, uh, for the internet, like services at large, how your username is your email address. Like that's that's not that's not on us the users, but that's on, like, Apple, mm-hmm. Google. Like that's on them, because the username being your email address is something that is publicly available. Mm-hmm. So the bad guys are one step closer to breaking into your account because they know the your username, username slash email address. Right. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Quick question: How about um, I don't know? This is jumping off of this topic a little bit, but how about device locking as a Safety measure, uh, like like two factor auth stuff. Yeah, like it's. Uh, I remember like uh, Google Google Play had this uh, way where you had your devices cross synced, but you had to authorize one device. Yeah, yeah. The problem with that is um, uh, the, the the problem with the the, the problem with two factor auth or all of that stuff that's reliant on hardware is. You got guys like Samsung that are encouraging us to get rid of our hardware every two years. Uh, yeah. And on top of that, uh, we have. Uh, on top of that, it hinges on us being with our devices. So if your Lose phone your is device. stolen, basically yeah. stolen, yeah. You know, then at then then you all of your. No, you say, you say can, goodbye to your all your. <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> authenticate if is that word. Deauthorize. Yeah, you can deauthorize it, but mm-hmm. then, um, what do you use to deauthorize it? You have do you have a second factor there for deauthorizing your yeah, account? Yeah, you can go to your uh, desktop and deauthorize the phone, the access of the phone. Yeah, but that's it's an extra step. One factor because like no, two factor factors. authentication, yeah. right? Is you you have your password and something else? Yeah, on a separate device. And you don't have the device. You don't have the separate <laughs> device. That's the problem. <laughs> so uh, it is. It is a. Uh, it is a problem. So what can we do, right? Yeah. Huh. huh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Aside from your better passwords, uh, don't lose your phone. <laughs> don't lose your phone. You use different passwords for every account, if possible. <laughs> yeah. Oops. That totally wasn't my password that we gave out earlier. That thing with pavements and potatoes. <laughs> Nobody's password unless you actually do. In that case, email us. Contact <laughs> the channel fourteen dot com. <laughs> Not catch you ninety nine. Looking at you, man. Well, what I do find interesting are the phishing sites. Because mm. um, when it comes to phishing sites, they're getting better and better. <laughs> You're not actually talking about fishing, rock not fishing, fishing sites. <laughs> Why would I talk about fishing in third world? I'm sorry, that was the first thing that came to my mind. I fishing knew you were talking about the pH, pH fishing. Yeah, that's something that I that, that I find really annoying about um, about Apple and like a lot of these more quote unquote like uh, these these web browsers that are more quote unquote minimalist. Like I'm sorry to bring minimalism into this, but like <laughs> I really hate it when, um, say like on your iPad, they don't give you the full URL. Yeah. Oh god. They only show you YouTube.com and then blah blah. blah. You have to tap on so, the URL um, bar to actually. Yeah, to actually see the full URL. Uh-huh. Um, so say if one of the bad guys manages to get access to the server, and like the puts a phishing. Mm. Prefix, was it? Not, 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 not a like the the actual thing you see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so like, 
you know, it's a. Uh, you you still see the uh, BPI Express Online dot com. Right. Or PayPal, but you don't yeah. see slash direct sign in because for some reason the bad guy wasn't able to get into that, but managed to mm-hmm. get another uh, like BPI or like paypal.com slash xvxgw.r.ca yeah, yeah, yeah. CA something. That's not an actual URL. Yeah, it's not an actual URL, but just so they're redirecting like, it to a, yeah, to a fishing site. Yeah. Yeah. It's and uh, then you log in and then, ooh, error. Oops. <laughs> Change that password. <laughs> yeah, like, um, what was it? Like, when we were messing around with, um, we were messing around with Backtrack Linux mm-hmm. at, at one point. And um, <laughs> I was like, oh, here's a, here's a Twitter login page. <laughs> like, log in. <laughs> Is there then, a thing there with bit.ly, pa- with bit.ly URLs being a little dangerous? Yes. That's what I, um, that's what I used with, uh, that's what I used with you, Ag, right? Like you, Ajir. Mm-hmm. Right? I, I, I sent you a bit.ly link, mm-hmm. which was to a, a fake Twitter page. And when you typed in, when you typed anything into the, uh, into the username mm-hmm. and login thing, it, it was recorded. Or yeah, it, it went, um, whatever it was that you typed in, just showed up on a terminal at home. And it logged you into Twitter because you were already logged in. Mm-hmm. So for all intents and purposes, it looked like you logged into Twitter. But apparently it's just a phishing site. Yeah, yeah. apparently it was just a phishing site. So, so I, it's, it's getting better and better. It's yeah. Before the act is just, oh, check the URL. If it's an actual URL, you always sign to. But yeah. now... <laughs> Not so much. Oh, another thing. Never like open anything from an email. <laughs> <laughs> Like, never click on a link in the an email. classic I love you virus use that. <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing it back. That's because I have a Chicago Bulls shirt on. <laughs> Is it 90s? 98? I'm not sure. It was, like, pretty old. It was yeah. pretty old, but ravaged a bunch of computers. That was, like, social engineering, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't be social engineered. And have, like, good security questions. <laughs> See... You could say that uh, to fight or to avoid like phishing sites, you can if you're log if you if you had to log into somewhere, if you have an app, just use the app on a mobile device. Mm-hmm. Would that be but, safer? But for me, the problem now is that with the rise of all those social media, there are sites that will require you to just have one password and it will open to everything. A link to yeah or. Yeah. One of those integrated accounts thing, like it has your like Rocket Melt used to have that concept. They integrate, uh, yeah. They integrated your face, Facebook, Twitter, and to your browser uh, and uh, another chat line like uh, Yahoo, uh, Yahoo Messenger. Mm-hmm. And there's also like a good thing to integrate, like, to like with integration. Like if you look at services like LastPass. Mm-hmm. Right, what what that is, right, is it's a password manager. So, um, what you what you do is you have, uh, what was it? Yeah, that piece of software, and it, <laughs> <laughs> um, it has all of your passwords. So you just need one password. To you need one password to access it. all of the others. You need, you need um, the you one need, password to rule them all. Yeah, <laughs> and and the other the, the passwords for everything else are these like random strings. Mm. So it gives you a random string based on the time and your processor, etc. Like there is a random string that's generated, and that's your password for your Gmail account. Mm-hmm. And it's stored with um, it's stored with LastPass, and it has like browser plugins. So like once you type in your username or whatever, it'll fill out the password. Um, it'll fill out the password box with your that weird own. random yeah. string, and you can just have a bunch of those. But you have to pay for it. Uh, but well, any open source alternatives? Nope. I I, I, I don't know, man. I'd, I'd be a little bit afraid of open source for passwords. Well, it depends. <laughs> it depends because um because uh, when it, when you talk about the software itself, mm-hmm. it's not it. At least you can check to see how random the passwords are. Like, what what is the um, what is the algorithm that's used by the software to generate your random string? 
But what you have to be worried about is where are they going to get the money to maintain the database? Uh, the servers. Yes. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's probably your apprehension with if it's an open source. And free. I mean, like, how Ooh. are they maintaining it? How are they? Donations. Payment. Payment. Donations. Payment. Yeah. Payment. Yeah. That's why it's worth to <laughs> <laughs> in, invest in a, sec- in a payment. Yeah, invest in like a password. Um, what's it? Uh, Protection password. Not password, password manager. manager. Yeah. Yep. Uh, LastPass. They don't sponsor us. They totally should. Because um, <laughs> LastPass is actually really good. Mm-hmm. Hot off the presses. <laughs> yeah, hot off the presses. LastPass is good. But what? Uh, it's actually mm-hmm. they have like a free service. Um, you pay, I think, for like access. Well, you pay for the app. Uh huh. Right, because like. Uh, like you get it on your web browser and stuff it's all free it's it's good um they know that the most painful thing about passwords is using your tiny little phone keyboard screens <laughs> which is terrible and if you have like this long random string you're not going to want to type it in on a on, <laughs> on a phone yeah. right so they they have that as like your pressure point like you know if you can afford an expensive iphone you can probably afford like a five dollar a month, <laughs> or like a like a. It's pretty cheap though, like ten dollars a year or something. You can probably afford that subscription, you know. So yeah, password managers really good. Like it, it reminds me of um, this plugin I'm using on my browser, like Disconnect. Mm-hmm. I think I told you about this. Disconnect is um, pretty much tracks which social media, uh, which sites. If you're saying a website, it tracks the sites where this information is getting linked to. Oh, that's really cool! Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. I've yeah. seen that. Huh? It's it's a free. Yeah, the the browser plugin is free on almost everything. I think mm. like the major browsers. But when you download the app, that one has the pay service. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you can download the app is free, but it only limits up to 300 MB of data. Mm. Which is not 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 bad. It's 300 MB is like a good sum if you're just using mobile. But if you're one of those guys who are 24 seven on their phones and 3G mm. is always 300 on. MB is okay on data. Uh. No, no, no. I mean, I'm, what I'm saying is for the heavy <laughs> You'll users, blow through that like nothing. <laughs> no, I mean it, that's why I'm saying for heavy users. Yeah, you're Wait. gonna feel like, oh, this 300 MB is gone in 30 minutes. So <laughs> more or less, more or less. Users what's the chat now? <laughs> Ah, phone's too far. Yeah, but um, <laughs> it's actually a nice service because from time to time, for sites that I am unfamiliar with, I check that and wait a minute. Why is this site? What is this? It's not linked to what I'm looking because you'd understand they, they're going to show you. Oh, okay, so Google is looking at your you right now, same as say some ad services are looking at you right now, and then if you see some anomaly in there, like some website that you don't know, hmm. <laughs> Like a Russian Bitcoin Coin forum. forum. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I should check right now. <laughs> My browser is open. I, I checked it out. There was like a bad gateway error. Apparently, they're using Nginx. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Well, for me, the biggest they problem don't use Apache. with security <laughs> is... Um, this happened to me. You guys... I, I, I talked about this with you guys. Identity theft. Oh, yeah, what, what? That, that dude on, um, on Twitter. Twitter. On Twitter. Someone yeah. copied me on Twitter. Really? Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, this is news to me. In, oh, okay. I'm Out of the about it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, breaking a milestone right here. But yeah, um, the weird thing was I was just checking my Twitter account uh-huh. like that. And then some of my friends were like, I didn't know you had two Twitter accounts. And I told him, I don't have two Twitter accounts. I only have this and only this. Then he linked me to this one, and I was like, "That's me." <laughs> same exact thing. Wow. The same profile picture. Same exact duplicate. Mm-hmm. Same tweets. Wrong same timeline. tweets. Same tweets. Same tweets. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> what? What? And it has hundred followers. Albeit, it's not. I mean, I don't have a high follower count. I only have it around five hundred, but. All right, I put five pesos into the <laughs> AG de Mesa. It's really cool. <laughs> Check out Bodega Nights. <laughs> but um, coming out but next week. The the only thing that was different with his profile 
was that it didn't link to my website because mine is linked to a, to my website. What did it AG link Demisa to? Photo. Com. Exactly. It it wasn't linked anywhere. So what to what end? That was what I was scared of. DMs. I'm not never sure. Know. I am really not sure. Angry ex girlfriend. Again, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to think so. I. I mean, if, if all, I didn't make them angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think. Oops. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but really, just. But what I did was I just reported it off Twitter and they took it down. Yeah. All right. That's good. Which is weird because I'm not a verified account either. But that was before the verified account thing. I guess so. But, but I, I mean, I find it nice because I just filed the complaint and then we'll look upon it and then I checked again the account and it wasn't there anymore. So I'm assuming they did something or... They changed an address? Or they prob- the dude probably found out about it. Mm. Or the person. I don't know. I don't know. And, and I checked everything. I was not compromised anywhere. Maybe just keep. I'm not, it's not spewing, <laughs> and, and the Twitter that Twitter account is not spewing hate speech. Maybe he's just <laughs> you know one of your 500 followers. I have no idea. I really don't have any idea. I have five followers. <laughs> 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 but it's not it's not like worst case. Like celebrities probably get a lot of <laughs> most likely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fake accounts and uh, whatnot. But that's to be expected, right? Yeah, like, because they're quote unquote accounts, public yeah. figures. But I was a a private yeah. figure. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm not really that big anywhere. So <laughs> imitation is you know flattery. Dose puno, but that's a that's a different thing, man. That's a different thing. <laughs> so sorry. You're trying to break the ice, you know? <laughs> no, because here we are no. talking about really depressing stuff. Such as security. <laughs> yeah, nobody's safe. But, blah, blah, blah. Mm, Change your password. At the end of the day, you really just have to educate yourselves. That's why we're doing this and telling you about it. Yeah. Yeah. You have to find your own ways and, and No, you things. don't have to find your no, own no, ways. I mean, you have to do stuff the I'm right not, way. I'm not done with my <laughs> sentence. You do have to find your own way in memorizing your own passwords. Yeah. That only you would understand. Yeah, yeah. Um, a password that oh dude another really cool thing that you should something that you should do with your passwords is mix languages yes yes huh so elvish and klingon <laughs> yes if you can pull it off why not <laughs> she can remember it because that's that's meaningful to you right yeah easier so, to remember yeah like you know stuff <laughs> word mashups In- I, do you think yeah. though that okay. it's a common part of like we have to live with things like security leaks and password revealing whatever I think do you think it's really just a part of inter- it's not something that we can eliminate altogether yes because people will always be looking for it mm. so the danger will always be there it's just a matter of mitigating it to an extent by good passwords, etc. Because like it, because it's not all, it's not all on the user. Yeah. Right. Because as you mentioned earlier, like the platforms mm-hmm. do have problems with them, because like they want to find that perfect balance between usability and security. Yeah. yeah. And right. sometimes they compromise towards usability. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Looking at you, Apple. <laughs> Mm, payment system, huh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> iHome. Mm. <laughs> iMoney. <laughs> mm, iHop. <laughs> God, I don't want pancakes. <laughs> pancakes are good. <laughs> wait, wait. Nudge, nudge. iHop. Sponsor. Mm. <laughs> pancakes for peace. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. But the... I get, <laughs> Hashtag pancakes for peace. It's, 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 it's the peace. new social movement. Pancakes for mm-hmm. peace. And challenge someone to have pancakes for peace because that's like the social media thing. Now. You have to challenge someone after doing it. Anyway, but I guess what we want to point out is don't be afraid of using the internet. <laughs> These things are inevitable, so do everything you can to make it hard, at least for people, or for those things not to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like, there's, there's no such thing as a perfect system, right? Mm-hmm. But then, I, like you said, it's all about mitigating. Yeah. Um, but when then... To not make it easy for it. <laughs> yeah. 
Make it easy for yourself, not for you know other people. Yeah, Joe Password Hacker. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the the low hanging fruit. Like, yeah, you know, password one two three four five is a terrible password, <laughs> <laughs> or your birthday for that matter. And I know you love your wife, but, <laughs> but you don't know. use her name. Yeah, <laughs> but like um, what's it? Uh, passwords. Like, they are a really weird thing. Mm-hmm. Like a, a wicked antiquated system, but if done right, can be really powerful. <laughs> That's for everything. <laughs> That's a sweeping statement. Yes, it is. It's like you're That's <laughs> why I am studying to be a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sweeping generalization. <laughs> if you can do it right... It will be great for everything, man. No. <laughs> no. Okay, Nazi argument. They did it right. Not really great. <laughs> if you think about it, like passwords can be somewhat like uh, the the Nazi? real world. Okay, no, the Nazi equivalent of you know the fictional true name of things. But here, here's the thing, though. You gotta wonder who's the f- per- the person who came up with the password system. Like you have a door, and then what's the word? And you say the wrong word. You're not gonna enter first secret like, bar yeah, in history. Who, who, who <laughs> came up with the first secret society? First cavemen <laughs> can't enter the cave. You didn't say "gubugubugu" in the right manner. If you're not part of yeah, the tribe <laughs> if you if you don't know our password, <laughs> secret handshake, whatnot. Yeah, yeah, more or less. You know, internet community. Stuff. Six seasons in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's always that, that, that thing between um between usability and security, right? Mm-hmm. Like the harder something is to use, the more secure it is. It is generally. Uh looking at you Arch Linux. Great <laughs> <laughs> bang, I mean Arch Bang. There's Arch Bang, so there's hope. Yeah, so it's it's like uh, that, that's sort of like a general rule of life, you know. The harder something, uh, the 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 easier a service is to use, the easier it is to crack. Yeah, the easier it is to crack. Like um, uh, the credit card system, for example, like that is wicked easy to crack. Um, but like say with the uh, with the chip and pin, for example, like that's a little bit harder to. Yeah, that rather than the old school magnetic strip. Yeah, <laughs> instead of just like going, you know, um, what was it? I, what was it in the keynote? Was it in the Apple keynote earlier where they talked about how when you pay Obviously, for something, yeah. when you pay for something with a credit card, your numbers are there. Yeah. And all it takes is somebody to see the number and the number on the back. Yeah. That's, that's it. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Password's written right there. But I guess the point we want to show is, again, that's why we keep on saying, don't be afraid to use technology. <laughs> It's a good thing. It's just a growing be- thing. Because everybody's going, trying to be connected now. Like, I, I refuse to call the internet a different space because the internet technically exists in real time with us in here. Yeah, it's, it's more of like, yeah. I, I, I akin it to pipes and faucets and water tanks and whatnot. <laughs> But it exists. There is a database that's pretty much your internet. Uh, there's a server that's pretty much the internet. Yeah, yeah. And it exists, as, it exists as a material thing, but the software is the thing that's vast and huge. And more and more, it's part of our daily life. Yeah. We were having this discussion a couple exactly. of Exactly, that's ago, what right? I'm transitioning at. <laughs> yeah, see, we, uh, we at Channel 14 like to show the seams. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Because the internet isn't a is, isn't a separate physical. It, it, because people think of it as a separate physical space, but it isn't because it exists with us. It isn't. I'm kind of repeating exactly mm. what you said, and it's it, it is a series of pipes. I'm exactly. <laughs> I wasn't listening. Um, <laughs> I was barely listening because I was thinking about our show notes. We like to show our seams. Um, yeah, because without uh, without the physical space that we exist in now, there would be no internet. Exactly. So you know, there. And and at the again, I think this is gonna be the fourth time I'm gonna say at the end of the day, <laughs> and we're not even ending close to it. But um, we just want to say that 
again, this 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 stuck with me. What Zhao told me, I don't, I forgot where he got it from. But technology shouldn't be an enabler. It should it make should you be an enabler. Yeah, it should make you do things. It shouldn't stop you from doing so. That's why I don't like with the fappening. The yeah, people are saying if you don't want your stupid stuff, don't, don't put it online. It. I don't buy that because right now, like putting things online, I'll be not stupid things. I mean, it's it's there now. I mean, for me, like yesterday, I was with my girlfriend, and it's their father's birthday. Right. Their father working overseas. So what do we do? We brought um, the three G pocket three G things, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and then we were uploading pictures in real time so that the father can see overseas. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Really it's cool. great. Like that's an it's an amazing tool. Yeah, it it beats a little bit of homesick, and it he uh, the, his father knows that we're celebrating his birthday with him. Even though he was working overseas, and that's really great. Like those are the things that for me makes technology enabling. Fine, all these incidents are scary, so take precaution always, take safety always. But don't be afraid to use the internet because fear leads to no. Because anger. pancakes for peace. Yes, <laughs> oh, I, I got I got that. Um, technology should be an enabler. I got that from Chris Fisher of Jupiter Broadcasting. Oh, shout so. out to Chris Fisher. You know, Jupiter Bo- gotta cite sources <laughs> and stuff. Law and <laughs> the academe. <laughs> so yeah, uh, overstaying in college got to me. <laughs> <laughs> and we might be overstaying our episode. Are we? Uh, it's good length. Yeah, about 37 minutes in. Okay, so... Uh, in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Check out everything at channel14.com. Channel F-O-U-R-T-E-N.com. And we have a Twitter page that's not compromised so far. <laughs> no clones, no clones. Um, at twitter.com slash ch14 and uh, Third World Linux. Yeah, Third World Linux. Yeah, third.com slash Third World Linux. We have a Google Plus page. And you can email us at... Contact the channel 14com Ding. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, we have a YouTube page now. This is coming up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 slash user slash uh, <laughs> channel fourteen TV. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, we have some interview stuff there, and you know we're gonna put something up in the next few weeks. We're still trying to figure it out and feel things. You know, making sure it's secure. <laughs> so, uh, any 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 words, Norm? Be safe. No, I mean <laughs> shout outs, links. People could follow you where? No, no, no. No, <laughs> you don't want no, to. no, no, no. There are too many norms out there. <laughs> Alright, man, bring an extra pair of socks to work. Wait, no, that's the thing I say on the sun story. <laughs> <laughs> I love, love you, sure internet. Seems. I love you, internet. So, yeah, stay safe. And pancakes for peace. Pancakes for peace. So if you made it this far, this is the off time. Oh, we're going section. straight there. <laughs> I thought we are going to have like, oh, uh, water break or something. <laughs> okay, so we're going straight. Huh, All okay. that talk of pipelines was making me want to pee. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to be something Pancakes for too. pee? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's fine. Let's, let's, uh, let's, have, uh, let's have a smoke break. And we're back. Wait, are we back? Yeah, we're back. We're back. We're, we're back. back. Yeah, we're totally back. What were you supposed to off tangent about? Like, yeah, you, you had something you want to talk about. Like. I forgot. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're off tangent on the off tangent. Exactly. In other words, let's talk about Linux. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude. Dota 2, though. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> kidding. Look, look, look out for the um, side quest, third world gaming episode, if Pico and Paolo agree to that. I hope they do. Yeah. Because I actually enjoyed explaining <laughs> Dota 2 to you. And then we ain't even done. <laughs> oh, uh, so, what was it? We had dinner and a smoke break and Norm had a pee break. And in that time... One of many. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first of many. Um, Google issued an update. <laughs> oh, So we're going back on tangent because we're off tangent doing the off tangent as... 
uh, was it normal? We 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 apologize for the motorcycle, the third world. And so um, back to the tangent. <laughs> <laughs> tangent. Um, apparently, uh, Google issued a response to the uh, supposed leak in the Russian Bitcoin forum. Yeah. <laughs> C News was it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> The looking for the code. Uh, where is it? Um, I'm searching from the next web. <laughs> so, sorry, you know sources and whatnot. Um, they quoted Google saying um, that the security of our users' information is a top priority for us, and that we have no evidence that our systems have been compromised. But whenever we become aware that accounts may have been, we take steps to hold those secure those users secure their accounts to help those users secure their accounts. Uh, well, again, it goes back. This one, I don't think, is a compromise on Google's part. But yeah, it, it passwords was, that were easily. <laughs> yeah, it was a user error. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So anyway, back off tangent. I love your new pop filter, dude. It's a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Corporate giveaway pop filter that I have to cover my entire. It's 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 just, it's big as my face. It's not even see through. It's not even see through. But it's okay. It's just weird because I have to cover my face. Well, I could put it just down. Just cover your mouth. <laughs> I just cover my mouth, yeah. Because I can't see both of you every time I talk. But I have to take that precaution. Yeah, he totally does have to take that precaution. Because, <laughs> you know, dangerous to not see my face. <laughs> it's so good thing we're on a podcast then. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are on video. Well, not now. Not now, but we were on video. So if youtube.com slash channel 14 TV or yep. slash user slash channel 14 TV yeah, yep. so if you want to see our faces want to see Norm's face mostly me getting weird <laughs> and a bunch of people at kelp <laughs> totally awkward yeah but fun I'm that informed was a, that was a really good like set of interviews that you had dude oh dear god what? really <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we, I it like was, it. It was a totally unprepared set of interviews. Exactly. That's exactly why we like it. <laughs> Going off the, you know, off the cuff. Off the cuff. <laughs> so, if you notice, like, every single time I had to try to get them to introduce themselves because I keep forgetting their names <laughs> right as we start the interviews. And I'm with... <laughs> I'm doing something with and my hands. Like, so, what is it that you do? <laughs> why are you here? It's actually... Uh, Quite hard to pull off an interview not knowing anything about the person you're about to interview. Yeah, going in cold? Ugh. Yeah. And it's dangerous because some people take offense to that. That's why I orient them. It's going to be comedy and a bunch of errors. That's what I always say to people we interviewed. And I appreciate everyone we interviewed. They were game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They were, they were really, really nice people. Exactly. Like, I remember blanking out in the one interview that we never aired. <laughs> But we did a take two of that one anyway, so yeah. again, editing. <laughs> oh, dude, like that interview with um, the chairman or whatever of the uh, Cebu Association of Cebu Entertainment. Yeah, and, um, yeah, like he's like he turned his back <laughs> to the camera. <laughs> That was the funniest thing in the world. It's like, so, you know, why did you pick uh, Ayala as your <laughs> see him like? Like, little by little, he's turning, and then he turns his back to the camera. <laughs> he makes this 180-degree turn, like, oh. And then Zhao gave me a nod, like, yep, this is happening. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we need to take two on that. <laughs> it's a good experience for all of us, learning experience. Like, Yep. I, had, I didn't know that those things could happen, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Interviewers. <laughs> and and, and they, I understand, because, again... Most of the people are not really used to inter- video interviews. Yeah, mm. like um, like you, you pointed it out. Uh, those those man on the street type interviews, like they pull the person yeah. up to them, you know. Like, they pull the person up, then put their arm over their shoulder, and like, oh, and then move the mic closer so that you won't turn away <laughs> <laughs> live on air. Hey, I'm Chris Hansen. Sit yeah. down. <laughs> and you're the one always holding the mic, so it's perfect distance, so good for audio. Yeah, like those those are the things that we're learning. On the go as we develop Channel 14. Like that lady from the Department of Trade and Industry? Grabbed the mic for me. <laughs> <laughs> she, she grabbed the mic for me and started reading off of a little piece of paper. But at the end of the day, audio was still good. Content was still great. So Yeah. It worked yeah. out. It worked out. 
And we were there and we enjoyed you know, a lot of fun. So we're still talking about it like three weeks on. <laughs> well, we're doing everything we can to support them, you know? Yeah, cause, uh, because they gave us a free booth, dude. <laughs> and it's nice. Yes. Really nice. 